honey, we're not asking you to be perfect. We're asking you to be progressive, to start with what you have. Work with what you have. Give people a chance to grow with you. This is a journey. This is a journey. Success is a process. It's a journey. And perfection is not the ultimate goal. I know it may seem like perfection is the ultimate goal, but it's not. Success is the ultimate goal. Achievement is the ultimate goal. That sense, that feeling of having completed something is the ultimate goal. Nobody's saying that you have to do it perfectly. You do need to do it with excellence, okay? Don't come out and do a half job. Do it with excellence. Do it to the best of your ability. But don't allow perfection to paralyze you to the point to where you are unable to move forward. Hey, 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 Entre Leaders, happy Wednesday, and welcome to the 33rd episode of the Leaders Lab podcast. Today, we are going to be talking about something that truly hits home for me uh, in my personal life, in my professional life, my spiritual life, everything. We are talking about the paralysis of perfection. Oh, yeah, we got a little bit of alliteration there today. Paralysis of perfection. How many of you, much paralysis is when you lose feeling and are unable to move. When someone is paralyzed, usually we hear you're paralyzed from the waist down, or maybe you're paralyzed in a part of your body or something like that. And it means that you have no feeling and you have no movement. In terms of being paralyzed by perfection, in my own personal life, something that I am actively working on improving and correcting is when I go to produce a project or I go to produce a video or I'm working with a team or I'm working with a client and I have a certain level of expectation that needs to be carried out from myself. I have a certain standard that I hold myself to. And I understand that there is a difference between operating and working in excellence and perfection. Especially as a kingdom believer, a kingdom entrepreneur, I, I strongly believe in operating in excellence. Excellence means I do my very best with what I have. I work my, I work with what I have until I win with what I have. That's excellence. It means whatever is at my at your disposal, whatever I have access to, I'm going to use that along with my God-given talents, natural abilities, and skills to do the very best that I can. I'm going to do my best and leave the rest to God. That's working and operating in excellence. Perfection, however, has an undertone of pride when you think about it. Perfection has an undertone of pride. When something is perfect, it means that there is no flaw. It means there's no flaw. When we are seeking after perfection, we are seeking after something that has no flaw. We need it to be absolutely perfect. From the beginning to the end, it needs to be absolutely perfect. But life happens. This past week, I'll give you an example. This past week and a half, actually, for about 10 days, I have been working tirelessly on my Doctora the Explorer content. And I've been working on this hotel review for my business trip. Beautiful hotel. Oh, just beautiful. And I've been working on the content. I have massive amount of photos. I have all of these video clips. And so, so what actually sparked this, this topic, paralysis of perfection, was the first of all, it took me quite some time to actually go back and look at all of the footage because it's so much. It's so I, I'm a little trigger happy when it comes to the camera and the video camera. But I'm taking a lot of footage and I want to review it 
see what I'm going to use. And also I want the article to be perfect. I want, because I send the articles to the hotels, I want the article to be perfect. And since I have this standard, this level of expectation for myself, they don't know what I'm going to write. They, they don't know my writing style. They don't know any of that stuff, but because I know what I expect, I have been prolonging it. Really. I've been procrastinating because I've been trying to wait for that perfect title and that perfect, you know, uh, headline and the perfect content to put in the body and the structure and everything. And finally, last week I said, you know what? This is ridiculous. It's now almost six weeks since you've been at the hotel. Write the review, girl, please write the review. COVID junior is out here cutting up and things may change now in terms of staying at a hotel at that hotel in particular, as opposed to when you were there almost six weeks ago, stop being stuck. Stop being stuck. Just do something, just write something. And if it's bad, then you failed. Okay. Learn the lesson, better prepare and move forward. If you don't fail and it, if it's a success and you did your absolute best, nothing was perfect, but you worked with what you had. You did your best. Then now you have a, st a new standard, one that isn't so outrageous and one that doesn't cause you to be paralyzed with fear or procrastination or overthinking about how to get this task done. So I started working on it. I'm on like my sixth draft. No lie. <laughs> I'm not lying. I am on like my sixth draft draft of this article. And I took a pause because it was just stressing me out. Perfection tends to stress me out. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I get overwhelmed and it's just like, oh my God, what are you doing? So I took a break and I started working on the video. The video was even more stressful because there's just this level of production. For those of you who don't know, I have a background in creative media production and I've worked in pre-production, live production, post-production. I've worked with live TV as well. So when it comes to video production, like there is a standard that I have, especially up here. And so as I'm creating this hotel review for the video portion, I'm also kind of doing it as if it was a bit cinematic, like a cinematic vlog review of the hotel. So I'm working on it and I get it to where I'm like, this, this is hot. This is fire charity. Like you are doing really good. And I go to export the project and the software crashes. And I'm like, no, 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 uh, nope, not gonna, it's like denial sets in right? I'm like, nope, no, 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 nope, let's try another way. So I go and I'm doing all of this and still nothing. Error message after error message after error message. Y'all, my heart broke. So I reached out to the, the, to the um, tech support team of the, of the software that I'm using. And they gave me troubleshooting techniques that they wanted me to try. So I'm trying everything that they told me, still not working, still not working. And I had a deadline set for myself of last Friday to have the article and the video done. It was going to be amazing. I was going to send it out to all of my subscribers. Just awesome. Didn't do it. Got so frustrated and overwhelmed. I, I, I quit. I quit on Friday. I said, you know what? Today's just not the day. <laughs> It must not be the day for me to do this because nothing is happening the way that I'm envisioning it. Nothing is coming through and I'm just, I'm, I'm getting stressed out. So I stopped. It was late Friday night. I stopped, watched the movies with my best friend on Zoom. Then Saturday came, Saturday morning. I said, okay, let me try again with the video. And um, it, same thing happened. Same thing happened. I stopped. Uh, Sunday, I was going to try and work on some more. And I said, nope, because I'm still waiting for the develop, uh, the software, the tech support team to respond to me with another solution. It's the weekend. They didn't respond. So I said, okay, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait till Monday. And now I'm in China. They're, you know, they're in, I don't think they're in America, but if they are, they, do, they definitely don't work on the weekends. So Monday morning, I was looking for a response and I'm like, well, Charity, it is Monday morning, your time. It's probably still Sunday evening, their time. So I just decided to wait. I haven't checked my email yet, but I have a feeling that that I have a response from them. So yesterday I decided to just work on the article. 
And as I'm working on the article, I'm getting frustrated once again because it's not coming out perfectly. It's not coming out, you know, with all of the detail and everything that I want. And I shook myself and I said, Charity, Dr. Campbell. <laughs> when I get to the point to where I say Dr. Campbell, it's like, it's a little serious. Why are you allowing perfection to, to stress you out? Nobody knows the level of production that you have as a standard for yourself. Nobody knows your expectation level. They just want to see content. Do you see how many people are winning out here simply posting raw content? It's not, it's not doctored. It's not, you know, it's none of that. It's just raw content and they're showing up consistently and they're winning. Why are you allowing perfection, the desire to produce something perfectly, paralyze you from actually moving forward? And these, this is one of those types of heavy, hard conversations that I do have to have with myself from time to time. Because that's just, I have this standard for myself because I want to produce on a level to where you know, it's that pride, right? It's, I, I want to take pride in what I produce, but who's to say that simply just producing something won't bring me a level of satisfaction, contentment. There's a difference between being satisfied and content with what we produce, especially when it comes to working on projects, whether it's solo project or whether it's working in your team. And there's a difference between taking pride, you know, being proud, being proud of what you produce. You can be very happy and content, and it may not be the absolute best according to you know perfection standards, but it's the best that you can do at this moment with what you have and at, at this time. So I had to talk to myself and say, Charity, give people a chance to grow with you. If you start out perfectly, there is no room for improvement. There is no room for progress. People aren't expecting perfection from you. They're just expecting content, consistent content. That's it. So if you start now, even with it not being perfect, but working with your current level of excellence, with your current talents, with your current resources and tools, do what you can now to still just produce to the best of your ability and be satisfied, be content with what you produce. Then give people a chance to grow with you. If you are focusing all the time on just being perfect, you leave no room for growth. And the thing about your audience, the thing about your team, they want to grow with you. Nobody is expecting you to come to the table perfectly. Nobody is asking you to come in this, 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 this perfect persona or these perfect projects or perfect outcomes. No, we want progress. We do want to see we do want to see progress. We want to see something that is consistent. We want to see something produced to the best of your ability, but nobody is requiring perfection of you except for you. This is the type of conversation that I'm having with myself. And I, I just have this feeling that there's someone listening to this podcast right now. There's someone who's watching the video version of this podcast right now. And you are like me. You are obsessed with perfection. You are obsessed with trying to do something perfectly for whatever reason. I can't tell you the reason why I want to be perfect with everything that I produce, because honestly, I don't know the seed. I don't know how deeply rooted it goes. All I know is that I have to stop allowing perfection or the desire for perfection to paralyze me from progressing and moving forward. So my challenge to you, and I know this, this episode seems like it's a bit, it's a bit short, but my challenge to you in this episode is to focus on progress, not perfection. Give your audience, give your team, give your employees, you know, give your partner, give your spouse, give someone a chance to grow with you to be a part of the journey, to be a part of the experience. You don't have to be perfect. You don't, listen, I'm going to finish this article today and I'm going to do it with the mindset of, I'm just going to finish. I have great content. I just need to find the words. And instead of me thinking scholastically about this 
article is not a peer review article. Like <laughs> this is just a consumer. I came to the hotel as a traveler, as a tourist. What am I going to, you know, how, how is the hotel based on my experience? What do I like about it? What do I dislike about it? I don't have to write this full on discourse about the hotel because that's not what they're looking for. Who's their target, uh, their target market? Who's their audience? Because they're going to be sharing prayerfully. They're going to be sharing this, this article with their, their, their people as well. I'm going to be sharing it out with people with random sites and everything. Nobody's asking it to be perfect. They're just asking for it to be done. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. Honey, we're not asking you to be perfect. We're asking you to be progressive, to start with what you have, work with what you have, give people a chance to grow with you. This is a journey. This is a journey. Success is a process. It's a journey. And perfection is not the ultimate goal. I know it may seem like perfection is the ultimate goal, but it's not. Success is the ultimate goal. Achievement is the ultimate goal. That sense, that feeling of having completed something is the ultimate goal. Nobody's saying that you have to do it perfectly. You do need to do it with excellence. Okay. Don't come out and do a half job. Do it with excellence. Do it to the best of your ability, but don't allow perfection to paralyze you to the point to where you are unable to move forward. Don't let it happen. This is something that I'm sharing with you because I just had to have this conversation with myself over the past few days. And it's not the first time that I've had this conversation with myself. Periodically, because old habits, you know, especially when you've done something for so many years in your life, old habits, when they set in and they grip on you, and when you start working toward freeing yourself of those and building new habits, sometimes those old habits try to sneak back in. But I'm telling you the same way that I tell myself, in a loving way, boo, progress, not perfection. Give people a chance to grow with you. Give people a chance to see, you know, what, let me tell you something. One of the things that bothers me about my, my video podcast is my setup. It's my setup, but I am working with the space that I have right now. I'm, all of this, like it's, it's a bit junky to me. Like I just, and I'm trying my best to, you know, make it look better. And so I have a few plans in mind of how I can improve where I am, you know, what, what my, what my backdrop looks like. But if I said I needed to be perfect before I start, I would have never started the video version of this podcast. It would have still just been audio and that wouldn't have required more of me. But because I said, I'm going to start with what I have. And then I'm going to grow. I look forward. I'm giving you all something to look forward with because you get to grow with me. This is only the 33rd episode of the Leaders Lab podcast. Wait till we get to episode 300. Oh, I can't. I wonder what the backdrop will look like by then. I wonder what space I will be living in. What space, what studio space I'll be working in. If I'll be abroad still or you, what. Give people a chance to grow with you. That's my challenge to you on this beautiful, beautiful day is to focus on progress, not perfection, and to not allow perfection to paralyze you. Can we do that? I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to this 33rd episode of the Leaders Lab podcast. If you're watching on um, YouTube, I want to say thank you so much for rocking with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the Leaders Lab podcast. You can add this playlist to your channel so you can always have the videos of uh, the video version of the Leaders Lab podcast right there on your channel. Please don't forget to like and comment as well. Tell me, how did you like this episode? What do you do to move forward and not allow perfection to paralyze you? I want to hear from you in the comments below. And if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, thank you so much. Please don't forget to download this episode so you can have it on your device anytime you need a reminder to not allow perfection to paralyze you from moving forward and from progressing. Don't forget to subscribe as well and share. And then I would love for you to give us a rating. You can give us a rating of like five. I mean, I like stars. <laughs> I like stars. So if you want to give us a rating of five, 
thank you and give us a comment as well. Don't forget that you can connect with me on social media everywhere on social media. You can connect with me with at Dr. Charity TV and on Facebook, it is at Dr. Charity TV page, P-A-G-E. <sighs> so now it's time for me to go put my own words into action and finish this article. Whew. <laughs> Finish this article with what I have and not allow perfection to paralyze me. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week in the lab. Thank you for listening to the Leaders Lab podcast. Visit our website at www.drcharitytv.com.